welcome to another extreme fitness workout or to this cold off or evening you can see i'm dressed to to keep warm so what's going to happen you're going to start off with your normal warm-up that's a skipping for one minute then you're going to rest stretch skip one minute stretch skip one minute stretch three rounds starting off with the top of the body with the stretch working your way to the bottom of the body after that we're going to do a little bit of a hit workout today one minute rounds four sets in total four rounds each set after you've completed one set, you repeat the set. So you repeat each set twice. Then you get that rest, then you move on to the next set. That rest, only one minute, then push it. We want that heart rate elevated, we want that push, we want you tired at the end of this workout. So let's start with the warm up, then we can begin with the class. Ladies and gentlemen, you finish your warm up. So, we're going to start off with our first set. Our first set consists of four bases. You finished all four bases, one minute per base. After you finish, you repeat all four bases. So, you do each one twice, and then you get that rest, one minute rest, and then you push. So, what's going to happen in the first one? We're going to do our gecko push up. We're going to push up there, nice and simple. In that push up formation, you're going to go down, elbow to knee as you go down. Swap, opposite side. Then we keep it going. Elbow to knee, gecko push up. Then we're going to move over to our fly weights, come over to the mat. You're going to need some type of weights for this exercise, either full bottles of water, bricks, or you have weights. Weights, nice and simple. And take your weights straight up. You're keeping these bent feet flat on the floor so you support that back. From there, nice and easy, nice wide open. Before they touch the floor, you come back. Nice and easy. And we just pump that one minute. Try and get it nice and fast. You want to work out cardio workout, you want to burn the, the calories, you want to bring that heart rate up. Nice and fast, 1%. We turn around, we're going to do our top plank, so we're going to work on our core, normal plank, on the elbows, 
head above the shoulders, shoulders above the bum, bum above the heels. You just hold it for one minute. And then move over to our back. If you don't have a bag, you do it against a wall, against a partner with focus mitts, or free form in the air. So, nice and simple. At that bag, you're going to stand square. Just that. So, not normal punches. You're going to stand square, first of all, not in fighting stance. Put a punch to the face. Three, four punches. Then you go squat, body. Then, feet. Head. Body. Feet. And you keep it going. Alternating from head, body, feet, head, body, foot. Emphasis on that squat. So bum down, back straight, I go down. I'm not letting that back go down there. Bending those legs. Forehead, four body, four feet. So your first set's gonna start now.
enjoyed the one minute rest, you move on to the second set, the body should be a little bit warmer, so you should do it faster, quicker, with more push. So what's gonna happen nice and simple, we're gonna come to the floor, stay with the theme of the push-ups, we can do our bare push-ups, bare push-ups, hands in normal push position, take those feet just a little bit back with the knees bent, then that bear stomps. Nice and easy, we're gonna go down with elbows backwards, that's it, bear push-up. Hips and knees are open. Then we go over to the floor, gonna do an overhead swing, Nice and simple, once again, feet flat on the floor, the legs bent, arms straight, support the back, all the way back behind the head before it touches the floor, you're going to come straight back up. We just keep that pump going. Nice and fast, nice and quick. Remember, it's all about burning those calories, getting that heart rate up. We want that cardio workout. We've got one minute over, we're going to turn over, side plank on the elbows and the feet, get everything in line. Once again, head, shoulder, feet or bum, feet all above each other. So, the head above my shoulder, shoulders above my bum, bum above my feet. Then I just hold myself there, hand on the hip, to keep that posture, just keep it going. One side for now, even round number two, same side. Then we move over to the back, at the back. Nice and simple, roundhouse kicks us in. So, similar to the punches, we hit head, body, feet. So we stand in the fighting stance, roundhouse kick, upper thigh, body, head. So, and we just keep it going. So, there. Nice and simple. And we roll it. And you push it. And you keep it going. Nice and simple. Upper thigh, body, head. Ready? Four sets, or four rounds, twice each, starting now.
right, ladies and gents, so we're moving on to set number three. The body should really be getting into it. You should be pushing it nice and hard. You should get that second wind. You should just flow all the way to the end now without a problem. Still have that push. Still have that distinct movement to wanting to finish, to wanting to do your best during the set. So, nice and simple. Forward and back push up So what's going to happen? One hand forward, one hand back. One in front of my shoulder, one behind my shoulder. Then we go up for the push up And I swap. And I keep it going. You can't the jump swap. Just move the hands slowly. Move over to the weights. Then do our chest press. So once again, the three flat on the floor, knees bent, weights on the chest. We're going to push up to the ceiling and back down. We just keep it going. Nice and subtle. Just chest press. And this is why you want to try and get a little bit heavier weights than what you've been using. Then move over to the back. Oh, I lie. We're going to do our other side plank. So we've done one side, we must do the opposite side of the plank. So, opposite side, nice and simple one minute. Once again, head above the shoulders, shoulders above the bum, bum above the heels, everything a nice straight line, and we keep it up there, nice and simple. One minute. Go over to the back, doing the opposite side that we did previously. So, low kick from the front, mid kick from the front, high kick from the front. Upper thigh, stomach, head. So, nice and simple, you keep it on the roll, there's no pausing in between, just light taps. Low, low, high, low, low, high, low, low, high, low, high. One minute, try to get that cardio workout from it. Your set starts now.
right, ladies and gentlemen, your last final set, give it everything you've got. So I want a very hard push. I want you dead tired. I want you to use all the fuel in the tank. So the last one, nice and simple, what's going to happen? You're doing the hopping push-ups. So it starts with a narrow push-up grip, then a mid push-up grip or neutral, then a wide, okay? So you hop from one to the other. If you can't, you do the steps. So from there, close together, neutral, wide. Close together, neutral, wide. And you keep it, you, know, you keep that push pumping. We go over to the floor. And do our weighted pulses. So you can take your weights straight up, knees bent, feet flat, just there. And we're going to pulse up and down. Nice and relax. Don't let them touch the floor. Then move about two, three centimeters up and down. Just there. Work those shoulders. Then go over to our plank. Then go to the extended plank. So different from our, on our elbows. We're going to go straight, straight hands. We just hold it. Once again, head above the shoulders, shoulders above the bum, bum above the knees. You just hold it there. Go over to the back, nice and simple. At the back, you're going to do a little bit of free form. Free form meaning you're fighting the bag as if the bag is fighting you. Hands and feet. Or you just do whatever you want. Obviously, I'm hitting the bag softly. You're going to do a lot faster, a lot harder. And you can do it on. Think about those combos. Whatever you want. Fight in one minute. Repeat all the sets again, or all the bases. Four bases. Second time over. Then you're done dust for today.
ladies and gents, good job, good push. Remember when it's cold weather, dress warmly after your workouts. Because the body's warm, doesn't mean you have to go outside cold. Put on that jersey, don't get sick, keep up that workout. If you want a back and a bracket in a bag to help you for your workouts, not a problem, get hold of me, I'll sort you out. If you've got them running on a special at the moment, let me know, can enhance that training, or you can still do the aerial form, or you can still do the focus, but still. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow for your next workout.